Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Roswell Jigen. Or New Mexico's Banner Suit if you prefer. This suit actually uh, was surprising to me in both design and um, its function. Now I actually got this only somewhat recently and I did not expect a lot from it. But it is a 550 50 cost ground and space capable general with a ballistic resistance of 21, a beam resistance of 26, a melee resistance of 13, a range strength of 45, a melee strength of 10, a movement speed of 130, and a thrust gauge of 65. For parts, we have close range of 13, medium of 18, and a long range of 9. As you see, the unit does somewhat prefer the mid range, though it's not as uh, incapable in melee as many would assume. For equipment we have the Jigen Beam Rifle. It's a ammo based weapon that's got decent range and staggers. We have the Roswell J Beam Saber. It's a nerf bat, pretty much what you get. We have the Jigen VP or a Vulcan Pod system which is basically like the one year enhanced Vulcans. Decent enough for throwing some damage out, but just okay. Just okay. We have the Waste Hand Grenade. Uh, it's a hand grenade. It's always nice to have these on a lot of units, and I think they're actually quite useful. Then we have the Thin Funnel Times 4 Pincer. Effectively, you lock on, which is actually fairly quick with this unit, and it sends out all four of these... Uh, funnels and they will go to different sides of a, the target unit and fire then we have the fin funnel defend a uh, it's a heat based 100 percent and what it does is it defends you against range shots unfortunately in this match i did not get a lot of uh use out of that so but it's very easy it creates a shield around you and it takes a certain amount of damage before it goes away for skills, we have Quick Boost Level 2, Emergency Evasion System, Flight Control Program Level 2, High Performance Balancers, High Spec and Back Level 2, Forced Injector Level 2, which is very nice, Melee Combo Controller, High Performance Radar Level 2, Personal or Personnel Radar Level 2, uh, Psycho Frame Resonance Level 1, which activates at 30% HP, boosting mobility, uh, and increasing the time to, uh, or decreasing the time needed to lock on with the uh, the funnels. Then we have the Psycom U Weapon Buffer, level three. When a Psycom U Weapon isn't selected, reduce uh, reduces HP loss from damage to Psycom U Weapon Systems by 30%. Eh, not bad, not great. Um, I didn't think I'd actually enjoy this unit. It's a fairly well-rounded unit for what it is, and I did not expect it to be that. Um, it's a nice little 500 cost-ish unit, and it's quite capable of defending itself, and can be quite the pain. Um, though I would say it's better in formations where you don't have multiple people trying to play this unit. But that might be just my opinion. And uh, you know, I think this is a good unit to also team up with supports. Because it can act as a bit of a guard for them. While actually having a good amount of damage output in terms of at least mid-range to short range. So I definitely give it two thumbs up. It's a fantastic unit for what it is. And I found it quite fun. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello everybody and welcome to the match. I hope you're having a fantastic uh, week and we'll be enjoying the weekend. Uh, I did not expect to enjoy using this unit and please uh, excuse the the paint on it. I didn't hadn't finished it by the time a match popped up so I got caught kind of flat footed but I really did not expect to like this unit. Now I don't consider this uh, this round as good as the uh, one that got me uh, a day suspension from the game because the servers kicked me off. It, that was a space one, but you know, whatever. So we're gonna be uh, 
getting a little bit of a hang of it how it plays on the ground against uh, some late night Japanese players so you know you get what you get so I see a couple guys behind me after we deal with that guy and I'm gonna come in get a lock throw that out there I didn't realize my guy had basically kind of jumped over there so I'm just trying to to team up with him so he doesn't get overrun why our team hordes on one dude over there um, so I'm trying to use the Psycom you as much as I can to get a good amount of damage in there and I'm gonna come in try to help my guy fire miss and I'm trying to come in to help I missed selected and that is a bullshit reach on that unit uh, melee attack. I'm just gonna put that out there. The fact that I wasn't even within physical range. So we're gonna miss on my down strike there. I'm gonna switch over to the grenade, throw an explosive in there. I'm gonna try to avoid this guy and get hit by him again when it was nowhere near him. Uh, this unit might be one of the more bullshit ones that they've had out in a while. Catch him with that, get him with these two strikes, knock him down. But there's too many guys here, so I'm going to have to back off from uh, the kill there. And I'm going to get pushed by the GM3 power. So I'm going to switch over, throw a grenade, but he's gotten taken out. Pop him with the Jigen Beam Rifle and get totally helped by the terrain. That they have yet to fix. Then we're going to throw our Psycom U out and get the kill dead. Then we're going to start pestering uh, this guy, which is another unit that's really good in my opinion, or at least I enjoyed it. And I'm going to just try to rely on this as much as I can to eke out some damage because you can do some pretty good damage as we get taken out by the Jaeger or the uh, free. Yeah, the Freak Jaeger, who is going to be a constant pain in the ass. So we're going to drop in on A. Um, in fact, I don't even think I saw this, uh, the Haifashiki that often this match. It was a little crazy. So I come in, switched over the Psycom weapons, and I'm looking for anybody hidden. I'm going to try to sneak in a, uh, a lock on this fellow. Wait for it, wait for the little the shield thing to go off, and lose my lock there and immediately get shot by half the damn team over here but we're gonna get some decent damage out and we're just gonna keep pestering them using our ranged advantage um, and you can see this unit can do some pretty substantial amounts of damage and uh, the Jaeger is going to continue to be annoying as hell so I'm gonna try to do is fish him out because he doesn't have a very good beam resistance anyways so we're just going to do a little bit of damage I'm trying to watch my side here because I wasn't quite sure what was going on catch him with a shot number two is going to finish him off and I see a couple guys behind me so I get a little nervous and I'm going to push up here hit him with that shot which was not bad for what it was uh, lose my lock on twice see him fire over he's going to die so it was a bit wasted. Fire, miss. See the high powered. See the other <laughs> Roswell over there. And I'm gonna jump over here. And I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a uh, squaring off because I didn't want to lure him out of the, the shot factor there. But, eh, life happens. So he's gonna get very bold. And then number four is going to come up on him. And I believe he continued chasing me for some reason for a bit. But we're going to try to help out our guys over here. And I'm not quite sure, but I wanted to take a shot at long range. I saw this guy being very damaged, so I was targeting him above the others. And there we go. We almost got him at uh, death. We see our nigger friend. We're going to lock on drop those, get killed, and it doesn't matter. So death number two. So we're going to spawn in at base so that we can try to help our guys out. Uh, take a shot, kill him. I do find that unit 
quite obnoxious, to be perfectly honest. So I'm going to come over and help my fellow Roswell. And I'm going to come up here to try to uh, get a lock on it. Because I wasn't sure what he was fighting with. And the Power GM3 can be quite the, uh, the brutish suit. I have used it before. But he's not being aggressive enough. But he's got some good moves on it. So I'm going to come up, go after him with that. Miss him the down strike because it's a thrust for some reason. Catch him with the G rifle. Miss on the melee. Back off because I didn't want to knock my dude off. And Shazam. And Shazam. It only took two Shazam. But we got it. And then we're going to get a shot from the side from one of the more obnoxious suits. I've played it. I can call it obnoxious if I want. Drop down. Hit him with that shot. Lock onto him. Throw out those funnels. And uh, he'll get taken out by them. As you can see, this unit is really quite entertaining, but also obnoxious. And we see this guy again. I know how far his reach is, but I'm... Like, I wasn't even within actual range for that hitbox. Okay, game guys, you need to change the hitbox on that. But it doesn't matter because you're dead. But still, fix that hitbox, you idiots. Um, we're going to come in. We're going to help beat up on the Power GM3 at the last couple seconds. Get hit. But I'm more or less using myself as a body to go after him. We're going to clash. Nice. And we're going to back off. This guy, he is a true survivor. And we're going to continue just throwing out our damage out there. It's one of the things that I think the unit does really, really well. It's just obnoxious. And quite fun to play, as odd as that is to say. Um, but we're going to try to push on this Jaeger because, well, he didn't deserve life. And he's gone. So, that was a good match in my opinion, even though I didn't get to show the shield off, but it does absorb damage. Um, beyond that, there we go with our victory pose, I guess. And no board pot spots this time, but second place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.